Importing Exec into Canvas is really straightforward. I'm going to go up to Start New Course on the right-hand side. I'm going to call this Intro to Entrepreneurship. I'm going to spell it correctly. And then we're going to do ENT 101, Create Course. And from here, I can either click Add Existing Content, or I can go to the Setting page, and I can go to Import Course Content. From here, I'm going to select from my content type the Canvas Course Export Package, which is the file I've downloaded from previously from the uh, exec page, which you should have a link to. And then I'm just going to go in here. I'm going to select my downloaded package, click Open. I'm going to select All Content, and then I'm going to just click Import. Now that's going to upload my export package and then it is going to process it. So this could take between a few seconds to a few minutes depending on how fast your server is. But once it's done, you'll have a week by week outline of all of the assignments that your students are going to complete. Uh, once you have that, you can start editing and tweaking things as you like. So it's completed. I'm going to go into home and I'll be able to see um, each of the assignments for my course on a week by week basis and then you can just see what it looks like so uh, inside here you can go in and you can change any of these things um, so right now we have it set up so it'll go automatically go to exec uh, go to the appropriate page within exec and then students can fill these out um, their exercises and then upload them back into canvas so things you can change in here, like if you wanted to go and set the points for individual assignments, you can go that, just do that here. You can enter in your points, and then you can save. If you want to have students upload in a different way, you're allowed to do that too. So you can basically tweak this however you like. This is just a starter template for you to use. Um, I'll show you a couple other things real quick. So if you want to rearrange things, you're welcome to. So if you decide to, you know, hey, you're not going to do the business model breakdown until week two, you can just click and drag, and you'll be able to do that. Um, if you want to remove things, you can do that too. I can just go in here and click remove. It will still be available if you go into the assignment section. Um, they'll still all be there, even if you remove them for the course. Uh, decision diary. See now, just sh everything that that is part of a module shows up. But if it's not sh if it's not part of a mo module, it won't say anything down here. Um, so. Uh, you can make all those tweaks that you'd like. Um, you can also add in your own uh, components or assignments if you like. And then oh, let, let's do a couple of things. Let, let me show you what the student view is. So you can go over here and click student view. We can see what the students actually see. So for business plan versus business model experiments, we can go in here and this is what students see. Uh, they're going to click on this link here to go open up their exercise. Once in here, they're going to go and complete their exercise. So this is going to take me over into Google Docs. So they're going to uh, you know, write in their response. And then once they're all done with an assignment, they'll have a link here to go create their PDF. So they'll click on that. That will automatically generate their PDF. So it'll build their PDF for them. While they do that, uh, we can ask them for their feedback about the exercise, which of course we will send to you. So you get that feedback as well, and we use that to go and uh, improve the course. So now that the file is ready, they can download it. This will download the PDF to their computer, so you can see it's downloaded right here. And then all they do is they go back to Canvas, and then they simply submit an assignment. They will choose a file to upload, and they're just going to upload the one they just downloaded. Click Open, Submit Assignment, and just like that, they should have their assignment turned in. So now their assignment is submitted and you can access it and you can assess it however you like. So that's what the student view looks like. Um, let me just show you, if you want to go and assign points to these, let me show you how to do that real quick. Um, so you can just go to the assignment section. This is the fastest way to do, uh, do any points that you want to assign. Um, so you can just go in here and click on uh, the edit button for each one of these and you can just run right through them and assign points. Um, we are happy to give you some basically some ratios that we think that these points should be but we didn't want to say you know it has to be on a 100 point scale or a 10 point scale we want to leave that up to you so you can just fire through each of these assignments and you can uh, give it a point total that makes sense 
for your course. Uh, more details are available in our assessment guide. If you have any questions at all, please let us know. Thanks.